All right, if you're like me, and you don't like the buttery, oily taste of the bulletproof coffee that everybody drinks on this keto diet, um, I found an alternate solution and it's super sweet and uh, it tastes a lot like something you would get at uh, like Starbucks or something. I mean, that's, that's not coffee that I typically drink. Uh, my fiance does drink it and I know a lot of you guys out there like Starbucks coffee. So um, basically what I'm gonna do is uh, just take any coffee, uh, you can brew it whatever way you like it. I like to use a Chemex or a French press and basically you just take a cup of coffee uh, so I'm actually weighing it out here. You don't have to do this, but a cup of coffee weighs eight ounces, or you can just take your um, normal little measuring cup and measure out one exact cup of coffee. Or you can eyeball it. I mean, really, it doesn't matter a whole lot. Um, and then what you want to do is take two tablespoons of a heavy whipping cream. I use an organic uh, Valley heavy whipping cream. I already have two tablespoons here measured out. And we're just gonna dump that right in. And then I got this at uh, Bed Bath & Beyond and it's Jordan's Skinny Syrup. And this thing has, let's see, it's got zero carbs, zero sugars, um, zero fat, zero calories. The uh, sweetener that they use is Circulose powder, which is uh, zero on the glycemic index, so it won't spike your blood sugar levels or anything like that. But um, I got the pumper with it. You can also get that at Bed Bath & Beyond. Same location they have these bottles. And uh, what I do is I just do two pumps into the coffee. And then all you gotta do is stir it up and it, uh, it makes it pretty brown. I mean, it's not white. A lot of people like their coffee white. I don't really like that. I just like sweet coffee. And this is definitely sweet. Now, something we recently started doing was um, mixing a lot of it up. Um, so I would take and make uh, two French presses uh, this size. I want to say it's like a six cup size. Um, and then pour them in a blender once I make the coffee. And then I would like uh, do all the math and put all of the ingredients in the blender and put it into a two liter container. And uh, I keep this two liter container in the fridge that way I don't have to make coffee every morning. It, it kind of saves a lot of time. Uh, I like to drink iced coffee. I don't really like my coffee hot, especially uh, in the summertime. I like a cool drink that I can just drink in the morning, especially after a hot shower. But um, that's it, guys. I mean, uh, give it a shot. It's definitely the sweetest keto-friendly coffee that I've tried. And uh, I hope you enjoy it.